Welcome to Not So New News. Come along with us as we continue to discover an Appalachian time gone by. Today's article comes from the town of Whitesburg and appeared in Letcher County's oldest newspaper, The Mountain Eagle. Volume 2, number 16, dated December 17, 1908. Page 2 is not named and continued in today's reading. The Mountain Eagle, N. M. Webb, Editor and Owner. Published every Thursday. Int read a second class matter, August 23, 1907, at the post office of Whitesburg, Kentucky, under the Act of Congress of August 9, 1873. Subscription rates, one year, one dollar, six months, fifty cents, three months, twenty-five cents. All subscriptions must be paid in advance. The Eagle covers Letcher County like a blue canopy. Thursday, December 17, 1908. Local notices will be charged for the rate of five cents per line for first insertion and three cents a line for each succeeding insertion. Announcements For County Court Clerk, the Eagle is authorized and paid to announce R.B. Bentley as a candidate for County Court Clerk of Letcher County, subject to the action of the voters on the November election, 1909. For Assessor, Arnett Mitchell is a candidate for Assessor of Letcher County to be voted for in November of 1909 and solicits your support. The Eagle is authorized to announce Shade R. Red Combs, a candidate for Assessor of Letcher County, subject to the action of the people at the polls in November 1909. For Jailer, the Eagle hereby announces Hiram Williams, a candidate for Jailer of Letcher County, Election 1909. For Sheriff, we are authorized to announce Lewis Cook as a candidate for Sheriff of Letcher County, subject to the action of the Republican Party. We are authorized to announce John Isom, Little John of Kingdom Come Creek, a candidate for Sheriff of Letcher County, November election 1909. We are authorized to announce Riley Isom, Red Gill son, a candidate for Sheriff of Letcher County, subject to the voters at November election 1909. Brother, drink lightly of that Christ, a liquor which you have ordered. Quote, Peace on earth and goodwill to men. Unquote. The cry that ought to lift the burden from the shoulders of the poor will soon echo across the world. Will that glorious message so long ago sent from God and heralded by his messengers be drowned in the hilarious scream of the toper, the firing of the deadly thirty-eight, or will it be heard in silent, sacred devotion to the giver of the world's greatest gift, the Son? You say money is scarce. Well, money or brains one is. If money is scarce, it will be scarcer after Christmas, for no less than 300 hard-earned dollars have already left this county, gone to Covington, Frankfurt, Middlesbrough, Dayton, Ohio, and other points. Men who earn their money have a right to spend it in a legitimate way, but it seems to us that sending it away for such a purpose is a very poor investment. 1908 is rapidly whirled into the past. The last station has almost been reached. Throughout the arduous run along the route, have we all performed our duty? It's about time to begin to check up on the records and see. As those of us who live to see the beginning of another year approach, why not wash our hands clean of the many shortcomings of the past year, with the pure minds enter the combat for good and the betterment of humanity. Short Sayings by the Editor If any of the Eagle readers would like to read a daily paper published at the capital of the state, they would do well to look at the Frankfurt Daily News. Herbert Virland, Ex-Secretary of Agriculture of Kentucky is at its head as president of the company, and M.D. Coyle, an old personal friend of ours, Mr. Davis as secretary and treasurer. Mr. Coyle is a practical printer and is in full charge of the mechanical end, and in every issue is seen evidence of his artistic ability. Send for a sample copy and see for yourself. 
After almost a year and a half of faithful service on the Eagle, the printer thinks that Santa Claus surely ought to come this way. How would a house and lot, just large enough for two, do, Mr. Santa? Suppose we petition old Santa to do this. The above is slipped in unawares, and Mr. Davis does not know it. Editor. New trial. Court of Appeals grants a new hearing in Floyd Frazier case. Is in jail here. A few days ago, the Court of Appeals reversed the action of the Letcher Circuit Court in the Floyd Frazier case and granted him a new trial. All the testimony in the case seems to have been admissible to the jury, but the trial judge failed to give self-defense instructions. The case was reversed. Last Saturday, Sheriff Crawford returned to this place from Pineville with Frazier, and he is now in jail here awaiting trial, which cannot come up at the January term of the circuit court, it now being too near to the beginning of the term for the Commonwealth to get ready. Death of a Little Child Monday night, the four-year-old girl of William H. Day, which was seriously burned several days ago, passed from its terrible sufferings into the blissful beyond. Tuesday, the body of little Virgie was taken to Kings Creek and buried in the family graveyard where many of its friends, who have gone on before, lie waiting the great day. Language is inadequate to express our sympathy to the bereaved parents. Old Citizen Dead William Cottle, Stiller Bill, one of our oldest and best-known citizens, died in the Lower River section of this county a few days ago. He was about 85 years old and the father of 15 children, all living, the youngest being 38 years old. He leaves a large generation besides a great host of friends to mourn his death. Stiller Bill Cottle is among the best men of Letcher County, always exemplary citizen, and his influence and example will be missed by all. Maggard Mrs. Thomas Elkins is very ill with a grippy. Sally Mullins is improving from an attack of typhoid. Arch Johnson is doing a good deal of work for J.J. Lewis. Stockmen from Virginia are taking a lot of cattle from this section. There was no singing at the Maggard Schoolhouse Sunday on account of non-arrival of the teacher, Colwell. Lester Surveyor Dunlap and crew are on collie. Mrs. Cora Hampton returned from Pike. Benton Pigman, a pine top, passed here. Arch Lewis is very low with pneumonia. Don't forget the big time at the Bowen School House Christmas. Pinky. This concludes today's reading of Part 1 of Page 2 of the December 17, 1908, Mountain Eagle. We at Kentucky, Tennessee Living would like to thank you for your continued support as we bring to you the history of the Appalachian Mountains.